Sorry about the glare. We have a Data East PPB board with five transistors, five TIP36 transistors. Not all of them are populated with all five transistors, but um, this one is. This one goes to a Tommy, and it has a shorted TIP36 transistor. Now let's see if we can find which one it is. That's a good reading. Meter is set to diode check. Kind of giving it away here, aren't I, with the X on there. That is a shorted transistor. Now, strictly speaking, this isn't the right way to test a TIP36, but it does give it away uh, nearly 100% of the time. We know this one is shorted. Now, I know a lot of folks that have their brand spanking new Hakko uh, desoldering devices, but uh, it's, there's no sense in trying to desolder these with a lot of components. If you know they're failed, just clip them off. It makes it a lot easier to get the part off the board cleanly and then uh, use your iron and a suitable pair of tweezers or in this case I like to use these side cutters and just heat the hole and pull the remnants of the part out a little awkward since I'm filming this but there, we've got all those out and this is a single-sided board so it makes it pretty easy but because I so I could heat this up and just blow air through it but since since I have my shiny Hakko desoldering device there I thought I'd just use it instead now we're gonna install the new part and line it up as best we can And then uh, we're gonna tack solder one side, one leg of the part. There we go. Just so I can line it up and make it look all pretty. Very nice. And then I'll come back and finish up the job. And I can do that with two hands, which is nice. So heat the junction of the solder pad and the component, blow some solder, raise your iron up off the leg of the component, trim the excess legs off, but be sure not to trim down into the solder meniscus. That's solder if you're in Canada, solder here in the United States. If you do happen to trim a little too closely, just go back and reflow that solder. And that's just a perfectly fine solder joint. Now, we can test that transistor, although there isn't gonna be anything wrong with it now since I've replaced it. Red in the center, black on the flanking legs. And that transistor is good to go. Now, before this board gets out of here, I will on the bench test all the transistors, all the diodes, all the resistors, and the fuses, of course, just to make sure it's going to work correctly. There's no point in replacing this. What is this, 100 microfarad, 250 volt cap. This is a MOV, which is uh, for surge protection, and this is just a disk capacitor for some modicum of uh, filtering. So that's it. PPP is gonna be good to go. Thank you.